If, like me, you have been using an Azure App Service, perhaps on your web application or even your mobile application, you may have noticed that the version of Node.js and the version of NPM that is being used by default is pretty, pretty old. Something like 0.10.4 for Node.js and 1.4.28 for NPM. So, in this video, I want to address the steps that you would have to follow to update to a newer version of both Node.js and NPM on your Azure App Service. So, the first thing that you would have to do is make sure that you know what versions of NPM and what versions of Node.js are supported on your App Service. And it's actually quite easy to figure it out. Basically, what you have to do is navigate to the name of your app service. So if you go over to your app service, it is going to be this string right here. This is the name of your app service. So you would have to write that name dot sem dot azure websites dot net forward slash API forward slash diagnostics forward slash runtime. And you're going to get a JSON just like this one, which among other things, is going to contain a list of all of the pairs of versions of Node.js and NPM that are supported for your app service. So if you wanted the latest and greatest available for Node.js for your particular app service, you may find at least currently version 12.18.0 for Node.js and 6.14.4 for NPM. So, uh, keep these two versions in mind because you are going to be using them in just a minute. For example, you could just go ahead and copy the Node.js version that you want to use from now on, navigate back to your app service, navigate back to configuration, and in here you're going to have to add a new application setting. So we just simply click here, new application setting, and I've already added it myself. It is right here. You would add a new application setting with this exact same name. Website underscore node underscore default underscore version all in capital letters. And you would just paste the version of Node.js that you just copied from the other website. You will just have to click on OK, click on Save, and click on Continue so your service restarts. And that's pretty much it. That is everything that is needed for you to update the Node.js version that is used on your website. And because it comes with the corresponding NPM version, this would actually update the version as well, the NPM version as well. And you can just confirm this by navigating down over to the console under development tools. And in here, just run node dash dash v, uh, sorry, dash dash version, is it? And there we go, we're running version 12.18.0. And the same for npm, we can just run npm dash v, and we're finally going to get 6.14.4 instead of the default 1.4.28. So this may be needed for a lot, a lot of things, especially, especially if you're using Azure mobile apps. So there you have it. That's it, I guess. Is there something else that I'm missing? I don't think so. That's it.